Hello everybody and welcome to Teardown. This is a new game that just came out today and I got a lot of requests to check it out. What is it? It's basically a heist slash uh, Minecraft looking kind of destruction simulator. We're going to find out today because it is a first look at it. I have not played it yet. You have two options with a campaign or sandbox option wise. Uh, display, I have borderless windowed, 1440p graphics, all kind of default as they were. It does have music, but I turned it all the way down. And input, you have some options here as well. Let's hit play and let's start our campaign. Part one. That is a very Minecraft bus. We need to walk home. Minecraft bus, please don't leave us. And it went through a tree and it went through a side of a wall. Okay. Well, we have started off strong here. So basically, the game has an totally uh destructive environment as you can see it's like mini minecraft happening here um but everything is de destructible so basically uh you can have a heist and you have to create it so hold and okay got it we'll open the door that way it looks like and welcome to lock l teardown services oh we gotta move stuff out of the way Ah, uh, okay. All right. I see what we're doing here. So you can pick something up and then you can left click and throw it, which is really nice. So yeah, I know. Go inside. We'll do it. There, dude, this dude is really strong. Like he opened that up like a boss. No problems at all. Yep. Let's open the door and in we go. Here's our little uh, workshop here. Pick up your tools. You got it. Okay. So we have uh, a spray can. We have a fire extinguisher and we have a sledgehammer. Dun, dun, replace the fuse to turn on power. Okay, well, let's do it. So over here uh, in a room, now that we know how to open doors, we, we should be golden, right? Yeah, well, maybe not the case at all. Oh, we have a power shack out here. Classic power shack, right? Open the door. Okay, well, this door is stuck, so we might have to use our sledgehammer for the first time and clear out the damn trees nearby. That's what it was. That's what was preventing us from getting in here to turn on the power. Replace the fuse. There we go. We have power uh, now to our station. How about that? Go inside and check messages. Okay, well, we'll do that in a second. We're on our way there right now. So basically, the entire environment that you see around us is 100% destructible. That's pretty awesome. All right, Tracy with the gas bill. Gas bill just dropped on the floor. Honestly, I'm not sure we can make it through the month. Are you getting any requests? At this point, we pretty much have to accept anything. Be creative, hugs, mom. So Tracy is mom, and the gas bill is a problem. So there you go. Old building just came in. Sounds kind of fishy, but we need money. You up for it. Good evening. My name is Gordon Wu, general manager at the Evertides Mall. I have a slight problem with an old building that's blocking our plans for a new wing, and I would need someone to knock it over. Hey, well, we can do that. Uh, I need it gone by tomorrow, and I'd even be willing to pay more than the standard rate for some extra discretion. Quick execution and uncomfortable working hours. Would you be able to take care of it? Oh, of course, yeah. Why wouldn't we? Evertides Mall. So it looks like we're in Europe. Europe. Uh, not sure where we're located, but uh, we're going to go to the Evertides Mall. And the old building problem is our first mission uh, for Gordon's plans for a new wing at the mall. Yep. Well, we're going to go look for it. The old building problem. We have our sledgehammer and we have our vehicle that we were in. So we can escape by hitting E on that. I don't want to do that just yet because... Uh, it might end the mission. I don't know. Looks like we have some dynamite sticks here. Highly explosive propane tank. Okay. Well, those are propane tanks. Uh, propane tanks, actually. 6.3 meters too tall. This is the one we're supposed to destroy, right? Yep. Looks like it. It says protected, yep, cultural herit heritage. So, uh, when thrown. Okay. Well, we can... I mean, I don't know. We'll left click it and then we'll throw it. Not with the damn sledgehammer, Jeff. Jeez, dude. What are you trying to do here? You trying to kill somebody? You got to right click and, and, and then throw it this way. Whoa. Okay. That is amazing. Whoa. <laughs> so if you're into destruction, this is the game for you. But I'm seeing these things over here and I definitely, definitely want to drive these. Look at this. All right. You have a, you have a, you have a problem with the, a vehicle over here or a house. You don't need it, right? Oh my God, just destroys it. So we have left mouse button, right mouse button for shovel, uh, spaces break. Okay, so we have this up and down. The actual excavator, just go straight up into the house. There we go. These are extinguisher to put out fires. Why would we want to put out the fire if we want to take it down, right? Yeah, let's destroy everything. 
any and everything. This is actually really cool. So the whole place is destructible. Trees, you name it. There's nothing in the world you're in that you can't destroy. And I think that's incredible, honestly. Just go straight up with it. There you go. There we go. Uh, well, well, we'll have to put out fire in a minute, but let's take out the whole building first because I think that's what they want us to do, right? Oh, Lord, we got things on fire in the front of our vehicle too. That's probably not a good thing. Uh, since everything is destructible, this is probably as well, I would imagine. Maybe that's why they give us a few uh, different vehicles to use for this job. But, oh, somebody had a fireplace in here once upon a time. Uh, once upon a time, not anymore. Just take it all straight down. There you go. So you do need some speed while you're at it to tear stuff down. Hey, they want a new wing of the mall, okay? I'm sorry if you were living here. Uh, maybe you're out to dinner or what is going on. I don't know, but there it goes. There it goes, 2.8 meters too tall. We need to flatten it completely. And that's what we're doing right now. We're just gonna destroy this place because that's what they wanted us to do. Get rid of all of it. Just drive straight into it. He's driving straight through it. Oh, that's amazing. Mission accomplished. Get to the escape vehicle. Oh, yeah. We have to be quick, don't we? So we hit E to get out of it. And uh, I assume we can run with shift. Nope. That is not a thing. Well, we destroyed that house. And mission is accomplished. Escape. There we go. Mission accomplished. So mission completed. Score of one. Targets required. There you go. Stats. Mission time is three minutes, 31 seconds. It continues. So apparently we can do more damage. Uh, we have a alarm clock. You know what I say to the alarm clock? Get out of here. I don't want to wake up yet. All right. So we have uh, completed the first mission, which is fantastic. Uh, it didn't take us too long to do that at all. Um, I don't know what else we're supposed to do other than go downstairs and maybe get another job through the computer. And that's what we're going to do. Is that a car? That is a car. I mean, not much of a car, but it is a car. So we have a TV here of block people talking about Lee Chemicals Marina move and shut up, shut up. Okay, well, that's indestructible. So that's good to know. We have a, uh, <laughs> a treadmill. We can just destroy it. We can't use it. We can just destroy it. That's good. Let's go over to the computer and see what's going on. Um, we have Tracy Gas Billy up. Investigation. Uh, what a morning. Shouldn't have taken that job. I knew something wasn't right. That building was under cultural heritage protection. We saw that in the actual signage, but okay. Um, the demolition is now part of a criminal investigation. Miss Turdeman at the police just sent me this photo. That's definitely us. They must have caught you on traffic camera heading towards the mall. The very last thing we need right now is an investigation. I tried sweet talking her and she thought she could get the case dropped but ask for the favor in return. I don't know what she wants, but do it. She'll email you directly. And here she is, a favor. Just so you know, I usually don't do this or I don't usually do this, but I'm stuck on a case and I feel like I should try something new. I've been investigating Lawrence Lee Jr. over tax evasion for months now, but he has so many friends in town that I can't get a warrant. How about you use your skills to borrow the computers over at Lee Chemicals so that I can finally access his customer registry and sort this mess out. If you do this for me, I'll make sure your little blunder will be forgotten. Well, we have to do it. We have to do it. We're going to Lee Chemicals, everybody. And Parisa wants access to Lee's customer registry. Pick up three computers to the side for her. Should be simple enough. I got to say, this game loads extremely fast. That was not long at all. Welcome to Lee Chemicals, everybody. Tab to toggle map and objectives. So hit tab and you have a little map here, which is pretty cool. We can move it around freely with the mouse. Okay, so escape vehicle at your position. Yep, office, harbor, factory. So here is where we want to go. We have those three buildings to get into. All right, well, should be simple, right? I mean, should be. Um, and keep in mind, we can make our way in any way we want to. I was going to use that, but uh, we don't need to whenever the doors actually open. Oh, look at this. And you can drive any vehicles you want. That's so cool. Like the whole, the whole game is just a sandbox. It's like a Minecraft sandbox of beauty. Oh, there's a thing there. Okay, cool. Well, all right, this is the building we want right here. So is it open? It is not going to be open, is it? Nope. Well, it is now because we just used our sledgehammer to get on in there. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. Here's a computer we want to get. We got, got the target. All right, target acquired. Uh, we need to go around the way where that truck is. We could drive the truck straight into the side of the house. You know, I don't think there's anybody here, so let's do it. Straight into the office. 
Back her on up. Full speed, baby. Save your progress at any time hitting escape. That's how you get in. That is how you get in. We did it, right? Yep. Where is the computer at? Probably upstairs, I would imagine. Why would they make it easy? They would not make it easy. Oh, it's actually open. Nothing in here. Okay, we need to find this computer. It's like a safe in here. A paper E14 paper jam. Why does it say paper jam when there is no paper jam? We I don't need that. Oh, here we go. Nope, it's not the one we need. We found the target. Acquired. Grab valuable. Why not? So basically we steal things too. So that's good to know. Jump down here. Um, we have our little truck here that we drove into the building. So we can drive it out of the, via the building as well. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to make such a problem for your area here. We need to go down here to the bottom right. So take this around the corner. We have an excavator down here. We're definitely taking that. All right, truck, you've been good to us so far, but we're going to get the big, we're going to get the heavies out here on this one. Let's back it up this way. Some of these ocean containers in our way as well. There's water there. Keep that in mind. Oh, propane tanks. This could probably create a problem, right? I mean, this is where we're supposed to go. Yep, right there. Let's see how this goes down. Nice. Okay. And there's a little scissor lift in there too. Nice. Okay. The destruction quality of this game is actually really good. Look at that. Well, we... Hello, we're here, I think. Let's jump over that. Where's the computer at? Is it going to be upstairs? Probably in that office, I would imagine, to be the case. Yes. Okay. So we need to go up and around completely. Well, the problem is we don't have any way to get up into that building from here. So, or to the office actually. So we screwed something up here. We might have to move this up to here so we can get up in here. Well, not a very good ladder, but it's a ladder nonetheless. Can we open the door from here? Nope. Can't do it. All right, cool. So we need to get creative here on this one. Oh, we have propane tanks that definitely, definitely explode. We know that. Nope. Nope, don't. Whoa. Uh, that's a valuable. We'll take that. Uh, we need to grab it with the right. There we go. And then throw it with the left mouse. All right. Oh, baby. So we have to get creative with this, actually. So let's jump up onto here um, and then jump over is all we need to do. So let's blow out that whole side of that building, shall we? Come over here with me. And let's just throw that straight up there. There we go. Awesome. I mean, that kind of worked out in our favor, kind of. Not really. Don't do that. If you left click, it's how you use your weapon you have. <laughs> well, we didn't need that, but okay, that'll work. Can we just run and jump into there? Oh, we could if there was a stupid window there. If there wasn't a stupid window there, which there definitely was. Um, let's just go ahead and shatter that sucker out. There we go. That actually hurt us. So our health is at the bottom right, and we can get hurt. Good to know. Oh, we got in there, though. We got in there, and we'll take that target. Bye-bye. Mission accomplished. Get to the escape vehicle. We will before anybody even knows we did it. anything. But guess what? They're going to know. We destroyed the place. Definitely destroyed the place, and we're not good with the security cameras uh, so far. Uh, before we get to the escape vehicle, let's see if we can drive this. Yes, of course we can. Why wouldn't we be able to use this? Do a little bit more damage while we're at it, right? For the backhoe. Oh, that is so cool. All right. So, yes, we can drive any vehicle we see fit. That's actually really cool. All right. Let's let us escape. Mission completed. Score of three. Targets required were three. Mission was five minutes and 38 seconds. Not bad at all. So we're a score four. We're a demolisher now. And apparently it's like any other simulation game that we've played in the past where, you know, you come here to computer and get your missions from it. The customer registry indicates that Lee has worked almost exclusively with a single client recently. The client is only referred to as BT and no further details. So I really have to bother you with one more favor. Oh, here we go. It never ends. It never ends with her. What is this? Okay. The X marks the spot, I guess. We're going back to Lee Chemicals, the login devices. Another favor, the login devices. We're back here at Lee Chemicals again. This time, they have upgraded their security for the most part. So let's look. Escape your vehicle. Uh, no, that's the escape vehicle, of course. Factory North, Storage Factory West. Okay. So we're going to go into this one first. And then there. They moved the backhoe. We don't have that anymore. So we have to figure out something else. That's security. We don't need your security. Get out of here. Anti-theft protection. That's funny. Oh, it's locked. Okay, it's locked. So we have to find a new way in. Um... It's got to be simple, right? I found another way in right back here by the rocks. The rocks opened up. 
and we're in like Flynn. Okay, so this building here and straight ahead on the left. Oh, it's this one right here. Okay, can we just knock it out? No, not going to be that easy. Come on. We need to use some machinery. There's the backhoe we were looking for. Let's get into this building, shall we? Drop this down a little bit here and just go, oops, made a right turn. Oops, sorry. Did not mean to do that. Uh, you don't need that at all, that walkway. Okay, sweet. Well, we made entrance into the building. Save your progress at any time and escape and quick save. Okay, so we hit escape and quick save from here. And it's just like that. That's actually really, really easy to do, okay? So it's in this building in the back left corner. So it's going to be upstairs for sure. Let's go up there and see if we can find it. So breaking an alarm box or wire triggers the alarm. We don't want to do that. Uh, but this is a primary target right here. Uh, we're going to pick it up. Oh, uh, nope. They know now. They know now. So now time is definitely under our feet to finish this out. Oh, man. Okay. Well, it got more difficult, didn't it? Now we're starting to see the actual problem uh, with the decisions we make here. I feel like for science, we should get in trouble just to see what happens. Uh, we have 13 seconds to the next and we're not going to make it. So we got to be a little bit quieter about how we approach this mission uh, for the most. Oh, helicopter. I hear a helicopter. Oh, I see a helicopter. Oh, they're going to land. Oh, it's a Huey. That's actually a Bell 412, it looks like. So, okay. You failed to escape before security arrived. Make sure to plan properly. All right. So that's the last one we want to do. All right. We'll go in this building first. So basically, we don't want to set off the alarm. Oh, no matter what, we're going to have to set it off. Okay. Key card is reader. Primary target. Can we destroy that? I don't think we can. It's not, not letting us destroy it. Okay. Good to know. So... That may not be the one we want to do first. So we need to figure out how we want to do this. And maybe it's going to be boom, boom, then boom. Because that one's pretty easy to get to from here. Uh, that one's upstairs in the left corner. And that one we haven't seen yet. I can understand how they have this set up now. We're going to actually use this vehicle. Um, I can understand it now because they want you to make a path to where it's easy to escape into the next building. That makes a lot of sense now. So it's up here in this corner. I have never used this thing with the hook. Just knock that on down why not we just don't want to set the alarm off that's all that's all the, that they're saying they're just like hey don't set the alarm off dummy there we go that's a good easy entrance right there look at that and we have to go upstairs to this so we're going to do that we're going to get the other one we know where the others are actually so this doesn't seem oh we destroyed that like an idiot uh can we jump yeah we can let's do it uh use quick save before triggering an alarm to start over from scratch if you fail. Okay, so we can do that. There we go. Let's do it. Alarm's going. We know we got to get to the next building, like, immediately. Uh, and we know where the last one is as well. So I think we will be in better shape this time. Because now that's what the heist kind of, like, espionage part of this game is all about. Is figuring out the least resistance you're going to have the path that you're, uh, you're taking. So... We know what building we need to get to next, so we know exactly where it's located, and we can use that little vehicle to get into it as well. Again, we have 27 seconds. That's not enough. Is it open? No, it's not open. Of course it's not. Got to make ourselves an entrance here real fast. Oh, we don't have enough time for this, do we? No, we don't. Oh, we don't have enough time for this. We got to really take out some, some building walls here to get in. 10 seconds. This isn't going to happen. There you go. Right there, right there, right there. Back it up, back it up, back it up. There you go. Get on out. Get in there. Helicopter's coming. I can hear it. Oh, we're not... No, not enough time. So using a quick load, we are back here where we were. I think I have figured this out. We need to make ourselves an entrance to every building before we go and uh, try to take the target. That makes a lot more sense. Can we drive this thing? Of course we can. For science, we have to drive this truck into the wall like that. Just because I want to see what happened. It was pretty awesome, actually. It was, it was definitely worth it. Although we kind of are stuck back here now, aren't we? Oh, and this thing is completely stuck now. Let's try to get over that and then back it out. Oh, yeah, it's stuck. So we kind of screwed ourselves. We can get in this, no problem, uh, whenever we need it. But wow. Okay, now I'm understanding. You can't make stupid decisions like that. All right, so we need to open up the other one. In fact, we'll get this thing out and we'll back it up. Oh, yeah, here we go back straight through the back wall. Why not? 
goes into that other building back there. Let's get this thing out of the way. This truck that will not move out of our way. Move, you stupid truck. There we go. So, yeah, the physics are there to just destroy any and everything you want, which is actually really cool. Yeah, we don't need that at all. Move the truck out of the way. Just destroying that truck right now. And we'll go make an entrance to that last part we need to get to. Well, it's not my building assembly here, so we're just going to go ahead and destroy everything in our way today. Because why not take the structural integrity out of that building? There we go, right there. We need to get in there, no problem. No problem at all. And I think we can do it just by putting a huge hole in the wall right here. Just like that. All right. So now we know our guy can easily get in there and get the job done. So let's do it. We have to start with this one on the far right and then jump to the one in the middle and then over there to that last one we just opened up. Let's do it. Taking it. Yep. Start the uh, clock on us there. I know now we will be just fine with this mission. So that's the cool part about the game. You get to control how these heists kind of are taken, you know? Um, it could have been a disaster and it was not. So, all right. And you could probably be even faster than I am here today. Uh, by being a dummy, but I think we'll be okay now that we have figured out the uh, The path that we want to take so we need to take all this and we have to take the last one and still get back to the van in time That is another thing. Where's it at right here? Jump baby jump. Yep. The, t the counter is still going so we still got to go faster 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 back this way dude Get out of here. It's over here on the right. Oh I don't think we're there's the helicopter. We're not gonna be able to make it in time eight Seven. Oh, it's so close. So damn close. One and screwed. I have an idea for this one. We're going to create ourselves an escape route. Get this truck out of the way. We don't need it. Just, we're just going to destroy this whole place. I'll tell you that right now. We do not want this place uh, looking decent at all. So we're going to just open this whole section here. So this will be our escape route. And we're going to get out by the front gate because the front gate's locked. And last time we weren't able to get out to our escape vehicle in time because we're a dummy. So there we go. Break that open. So now we know this is all open. No problem. We start there, jump around. Uh, no matter what, we have to cross that water. And I don't think we're going to be able to do it without uh, any intervention with that. So that's okay. Around this, no problem. Just going to drive through that and clear ourselves away into this building here. And then we'll be able to make this no problem. I, I think it's going to be much better this time. Much better. All right, let's do it. It's going to be super close. Run, 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 buddy. They don't have any run option. It's just one speed for your movement, which is fine. Uh, I don't mind that so much. Uh, we're going to go up here and grab this one real fast, and then we'll be out of there in no time. So maybe we even need to knock some walls down to make this a little easier for us. Now that we know that uh, time matters so much in this game. All right. We're almost there. We're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. I have I have faith. We can do this. Around the corner, on up the stairs. So now we're seeing just how difficult the game can actually be in the long run, which is crazy. Jump there. Jump down there. Around this way. There's a little escape pod we could have made there a little easier. Back to the front gate. Come on. Run, dude. Run. You're so slow. You are so slow. Nine, eight. There's the, there's the helicopter. We got it. We got it. Get on out of there, buddy. Yes. <laughs> Mission complete. New high score of three. Time left was five seconds. It took four minutes and 56 seconds. So you can see exactly how this game is portrayed and what you can do. So let's go uh, ahead and uh, we will go to the main menu and check out the sandbox. So there's options here for sandbox. We have four Lee Chemicals, Marina, Villa Gordon, and Hollow Rock. So we have to unlock those by playing the campaign mode, which does make sense. All right, they start you out here in front of the building and it's just, you know, we can just do whatever the hell we want. We can destroy whatever we want. We have a backhoe here, a big, huge one, by the way. But the fact that you can just do what you want is so much fun. It really is. You can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. It goes pretty far out, actually. Look at that. I wonder how destructible cars are in this game. I mean, we know from that other truck, but look at that. That's actually really cool. Wow. Okay. Very nice, indeed. We'll go around this way, take out the tree, power lines, you name it. So if you like to destroy things, here you go. Oh, look at this. 
This thing is a beast. It just goes through walls. Can we go all the way through? That's the real question. Just like in the movies. Yep. Yep, we went all the way through that building for the most part. Back it up here a little bit. And lift it straight all the way through. Nice. Taking that down as well. I saw a truck over there. We got to drive that truck. Look at the damage. There's so much destruction. Well, if you're a destructive type, this game is for you 100%. Look at this big rig. And we have a, a trailer, really? Oh, a working trailer too. That's a European trailer. It's from Europe. Here we go back it on up. Okay, this is a this is pretty cool. I gotta say, pretty damn cool. I don't know what's going on over there with that building, but man, look how close we are to the water. Real close to that water line. Straight into the propane. Yes. What did that do to the truck? Oh my god, that destroyed the truck. Let's get out and look at it. Look at that. Nothing left of it after that crash. That is pretty awesome. So the whole world being destructible is just so neat. Very unique and different. Oh, there's a boat here. We can drive a boat. Okay. Well, what can we do with the boat besides a whole lot of nothing? Besides, you know, the physics on everything is actually pretty, pretty awesome. There's another boat over here too. Oh, we're just destroying this one. Okay. Well, we didn't need it anyway. I want to check out this generator thing that's flashing over here. Oh, the door was open. Look at that. Imagine that, the door open. That sounds dangerous. That sounds really dangerous, actually. And looks dangerous, too, with the flashing of the, the power stuff. And here it is. Oh, that did it. The health dropped like crazy. We took the uh, generator out, and we're up here at the very top where the power lines are. Just creating a problem here. See if we can live onto this. We did. Okay, nice. Oh, this thing's way faster. That is amazing. We can go around this way. There's another boat there. Oh, try not to wreck it. Oh, there's a wall there. So they do have boundaries in the game. They do have boundaries, sadly. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, let's full speed this baby straight on to land here. There's something over here we haven't checked out yet. I don't know what this is. Right there. Oh, there we go. Oh, the whole right side just fell apart on it. Oh, that's okay. We don't need it anyway. Well, maybe. Maybe we do. Just maybe. Look at this. Look at the mess we have created. All right, so that didn't work out. Let's get out this way. And here's another door. What is this place? There's a little chair up here and something here. I'm just going to destroy it. I don't even know what it is. Don't even care about whatever you have going on here in this building. We are uh, just destroying it all. Well, happy Thursday to everybody. I hope you guys have had a fantastic week so far and uh, you're ready for the weekend. Look at this old muscle car, an old classic. That's actually really cool. There's our bulldozer we were using before. Uh, another classic vehicle. There's a dump truck back here. That's what I was looking for was this thing. Um, but yeah, what a cool game. Just very different and unique, I must say. It's not expecting uh, it to be what it was. I mean, I've seen the, you know, the, been following it for a while and, uh, on Steam and I'm very impressed with what I have seen so far. It's just a unique game. It's like Minecraft on steroids for the most part around this building. We don't need it. Yep. You don't need that, right? Would it be it? Nah, not at all. Who needs that building? None of us. Very cool game indeed. Well, there you have it, folks. That's our first look at Teardown. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below, and I will see everybody next time. Take care. Hey, guys, Jeff here. Just to let you know, the merch is still available, and the Halloween ones are available as well. Thank you so much for all the support.